All right, let's go ahead and get started. You'll need your bands today, band or bands, but let's warm up first. So as always, it's a good idea just to stretch and move a little before going into anything strengthening. So make sure you're a nice posture, weight in the heels. Just standing up as tall as possible. And the feeling most of the rotation, kind of from the hips up a little bit in the legs. And then slowly feeling the legs move. You can even bend the knee. And then letting the toes or the heels come up and the toes press. Keep the feet joints engage the ankles a little more engaged you can even play with that maybe touch the top of your feet down to stretch the top of the feet and the front of the ankles all right then let's ground everything down again in sort of an open and closed with the shoulders so you're really feeling the shoulder blades move towards each other and away from each other so the whole shoulder complex is moving, not just the arms. Okay, let's swing the arms. Try to feel that end range in the top and in the back. And then now let's go all the way around. You can kind of pretend you have the, the strap or the um, stretchy band. <laughs> Word finding. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Now the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. And then the opposite direction. Oh, it feels so good to do that. Okay, so we had a twist in the spine. Let's do a lateral bend. Just back and forth, easing into the movement, not going for full range of motion right off the bat. All right, and then our forward and backward or flexion. So tuck the chin, slowly roll the spine down. Going down as far as feels comfortable, not as far as you can go. And then extension, flexion, keeping the weight in the heels as you flex and as you extend the spine. Oh, that feels so good, too. Oh, we should do this every day at noon. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and I've got two bands. I've got my easier one and my harder one. Let's go with the easier one first if you have two. And again, if you have one, that's okay. Just make sure it's suitable for your strength range. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit of tension on the band for some shoulder rotations. A little bit of tension, then we'll start to pull those shoulder blades towards each other as you do your rotations. And then always reminding, stay out of any painful ranges of motion. That doesn't mean you shouldn't move. Just find out what is your pain-free range of motion and move within that. That's a common mistake. People just stop moving then. And fear is a thing, a big thing, but you can't let it, you can't make you stop moving completely. Okay, 
And then we'll come up to the top, take up a little more slack. Okay, and then we'll just pull over for a little stretch. And then we'll go the other way for a little stretch. Okay, let's put the left hand back up at the top and then the right hand is going to pull down. So engage the core so that the core doesn't move. So we're teaching our body for the core to turn on when we're using our limbs to do something more challenging. About 10 or so, we'll go to the other side. Okay, so a nice slow movement, slow and controlled. We'll recruit more of the muscle to just to be mindful. Okay, about 10. Okay, let's do a couple of rotations again at whatever resistance feels right for you. Okay, and then we'll put the band back at the top and then we'll stretch behind us. Okay, it's about 10. I will go in front. I'm trying to work outside of those linear planes. Okay, I need a couple shoulder rolls. <laughs> Definitely trying to get stronger. And if you need to stop and do any stretching and working out of the kinks in any time, please stop. Okay, let's put it behind us and we'll do some forward work. Okay, so we'll go up by the shoulder blades and then we'll start with a bent elbow. Let's, let's take a wide stance into a little baby squat. Make sure the knees aren't falling in, they're out. And then let's just press forward to start with. Resisting back. So we're slowly coming back and slowly forward. Let's just keep this up. Okay, and then let's go out to the corners. Now we're gonna kind of, rather than punching straight forward, we're gonna punch up to the corner. It's about a 45 degree angle. Ooh, okay, I need a little teeny break. <laughs> we'll keep using our arms, but we'll go to different muscles. Okay, so we'll stand on the band and then just do some simple little bicep curls. We'll start in our forward plane. Okay. Ooh. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to grab down a little bit farther. So I've got a little more resistance down here. We'll do shoulder shrugs. Okay, 
Now let's bend and we'll do rows. So the arms stay close into the side and pull the elbows up. Make sure you really stick your booty out so you can find some low back curve. Okay, let's go back to curls and we'll go out at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, let's go back to rows, take up some slack. This should be a little easier maybe than the bicep curls. As you come up to the top, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, let's come back up to bicep curls. Okay, we'll go out to the side. And then back to rows. Right. Ooh. Okay. Let's, I'm going to switch to my stronger band. I may change my mind once we get going, but we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna stand on it again. And we'll do our lateral steps. So you can either just step back and forth or you can walk down the length of your mat or all across your room, whatever you wanna do. And just move at a pace where it feels very controlled. If you feel like you're losing your balance, then slow it down. Slower is better than faster. To skill build, to strength build. Okay, all right, that feels like plenty. <laughs> okay, feet about hip distance apart. Okay, we're gonna hold the bands just straight up and down. We're gonna bend, put a little bend in the hips and a little bend in the knees, and then up and down. So this is more of a, a kind of mimicking a deadlift. So more of the movement is coming from the hips than the knees. And we're going to change it. We're going to add more knees in. So hips back, really squat down, and then pull straight up. Bend the knees. So we're dropping the hips. So we get more knee. And it's never, ever mandatory that you put your camera on while you're 
taken these or participating in these uh, classes, but sometime you may want to record yourself doing these exercises so that you can look at your own form and see what it looks like. Sometimes it can be very hard to look at ourselves. It's taken me a long time to get used to <laughs> seeing myself on camera, but it definitely has helped me improve my own form because we don't always feel. Our body gets so used to imbalances that our brain can't detect them as they should. Okay, all right. Let's go back to our lateral steps. More than halfway done. A couple more. All right, now we're going to just put it under the right leg. Take a step forward with the right leg and a step back. And we'll stay on the toes. And so we're going to do the deadlift, but we're going to put most of the weight on our front leg. Really stick the booty out again. Find your low back curve and then press up. This is going to take some balance. If this doesn't feel comfortable or safe, then go back to putting the legs, both legs under, over the band. This, a lot of the movements, functional movements we do are shifting the balance in the legs. So creating single leg strength and balance is important. It's definitely more challenging. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Okay, so under the left leg, touch back with the right. Find that low back curve. All right, I'm going to switch back to my other band. Ooh, those are challenging. Okay, I'm going to stand, get my heel on this band. And we're going to press up. So the things I want you to think about, press that right hip down into the floor. We're going to either toe touch or lift the left leg. I think I'm going to toe touch it first and see how it goes. But really want to push down with your right hip so it helps to keep your hips level. And then we'll press up. About 10. And then we'll switch into triceps. Okay, so stay at the top and then just bend the elbow and press up. Okay, let's go to the other side. Heel on the band, either toe touch or lift. Press in the left through the left hip so it keeps things level here. Press up first. Now we'll do elbow stays up.
Right. Okay. All right. We're going to do a little shoulder stability exercise. So we're going to take the left hand. We're going to hold it up and then we'll hold the band out. The left arm is not going to move. Okay. We started with something like this. Okay, where we're just going in that singular plane of motion. Okay, same thing. We're going to come down in front. So really asking those shoulder stabilizers to do their thing. Now we're going to come in back. Okay, good. All right, let's bring that arm down. There's the, the rotator cuff goes across this shoulder to help hold that muscle in, but there's a lot more muscles that help to stabilize the shoulder too. So getting them all working together, a good thing. So we're going to do the same thing. So rather than focusing on the pull down where we're working on the lat, focusing up here. Okay. So let's just start with that lat pull down. Focus on really keeping the top arm still. Okay, and then more forward. Okay, and then behind. Right. Ah, let's do a few rotations. Hey, we've got about five, six minutes left. Okay, that feels good. Let's do a little glute work. So the glute work, you can hold on to the wall to give yourself a little stability. We're gonna stabilize through the right hip. So we're pushing down from the hip into the heel. We'll toe touch back and then we'll do some lifts. And you can put your, your hand, your, your fist, your finger on the glute so that you can feel it turning on as you lift. And then let's bend the knee and we'll push back and up. Other side, okay, push down from the left hip all the way down into the heel and then we'll toe touch and lift. Okay, and then bent knee and push back and lift. All right, that's about 10. Ooh, okay, let's, we've got about four minutes left, so let's finish with some stretching. I feel like I wanna stretch my hip flexors a little bit, so can do that by reaching up. Oh yeah, that was needed. Feels good. As you do anything one-legged, make sure you push down from your hip to stabilize. Keep the hips level. 
up tall. All right, other side. Right, inner thigh. Other side. All right, let's come back up. Let's do a forward fold, a slow roll down. Oh, definitely looser after all that. Okay, have a slow roll up. And into some extension. Right, lateral. So slide down to your pain free level, and we'll hold that. And push that left hip out to the side. Get a little more of that lateral bend through the spine. Gauge the core before you come up. Other side. Okay, engage the core before you come up. Okay, all right, let's finish with a little bouncing. Now we've got everything nice and open. A little movement of the fluids. Such a gorgeous day today. You may want to try to get out for a short walk after this or later this afternoon. I will probably go later this afternoon, so I have another little break in my day. So let's go ahead and wrap up here. Got about a hundred minute left, it looks like. So I hope everybody has a, a really good weekend.